I hope I don't have any other tags. Oh, find it. It's fine. Okay. Here we go, go, go on an adventure. The thing with Jigger is up and away. Where else has that song permanently stuck in their brain every day, all day? Cool. I'm more of a Wiggles kind of person. <laughs> well, Wiggles, pain, suffering, you know how it be. Okay. We are there. good. We are live, Corn. Well, hey there, folks. Welcome back once again to the delightful world of Ruby Terminal Season. The good old function of jump chain where we're hopping around doing all sorts of shenanigans and just doing our best not to get our teeth absolutely kicked in. Uh, when it comes to Hunter, well, his teeth are currently up for debate at the moment on whether or not they're <laughs> going to be going down his throat or not. It all depends on the next few rolls. Yeah, Who wants I to am, recap for us? I am dead. Uh, well, I'll, I'll recap for once. We ended up walking into the fight with Phoenix, the other hunter team at the academy after returning back to Beacon. Within the first five seconds of us being in the combat, we realized something very... If you have a plan, it's best be that it's early in the turn order for that plan. <laughs> if that plan requires you throwing a team member... As Hunter and Lynn curved balled Jackalope like a baseball around a net that the enemy team had set up. And a lot of poor life choices were made, particularly on the front of Hunter fist fighting a Leonin woman. And woman. And I am not a physical combat boy. The goose proving to be the greatest and worst aspect of the team, Bust as the he's goose. the one. As he. Lovingly strapped a butt, <laughs> <laughs> strapped a bomb to Hunter's butt, more or less, <laughs> or back. I don't remember which it was. Is his butt? It was, it was the yeah. butt. <laughs> okay, I'm glad I, <laughs> why did I remember that part? <laughs> Exploded it. You. Slightly sent Jacklip into PTSD, which caused him to throw a thing. Katie danced on the graves of our enemies, more or less. <laughs> causing chaos, and apparently the glitter bombs are great cover. <laughs> yeah, I should use glitter smoke bombs more often. Len looked for different things upon the group and did cover fire along with trying to figure out their strategies to varying degrees of success. <laughs> <laughs> the goose was gonna do something and bad I tried to stop it but nobody else <laughs> wanted to currently Katie stop is it. on one side of the arena while there's a Beyblade going above Jackalope Beyblade oh, is that, is that why you guys are saying Beyblade because he that's what he's doing oh. yeah. basically yeah. <laughs> let's and we le play and we learned why the other lady which i don't remember her name right now shot two shots into the air it was because they were aiming for hal and they hurt me you bitch <laughs> i thought they were wait what do the bullets do again i thought they like they... were helping her see but so... no they uh, mm -hmm. At the uh, so at the start of the fight, she shot several times into the air, and uh, as was uh, figured out during the fight, those are in some way benefiting her in order to grant her some benefit to her shots. The last shots right at the end of the session were th uh, a cluster of shots that impacted against Hunter, having bounced off of Hal. Mm -hmm. it bounced off Hal, hit me in the face, and it's the only damage I took aside from the lion curl. So yeah, stop so being both fair. Of the, both of the tank kind of tanks are beat up pretty bad. I'm trapped with wires right now, kind of here, and Katie's way over here. Yep, and fucking ten of that damage Jack did to himself. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely I'm rinsed himself on a fucking razor wire wire um net. Just be like, hi guys. Oh my gosh. 
Yeah. So, yeah, good times, good times. Um, Can someone injure this lion chick so it's a fair fight again? <laughs> no, you asked Jack Club to stay out of it, and now you sit with your decision, sir. Come on. But I, I got shot. How does that equate to it? Simple. Should have dodged. Why yeah? didn't you dodge? <laughs> Here's you, Pavlov. Well, I'm Hi, not Ellie. sure. I... All right. Cool. But well, currently, we're on Jackalope's turn as he's sitting underneath a fan. Yeah. yeah, Jackalope, it is your turn as you've just witnessed that shot go off. So he's just rotating indefinitely at this point, correct? Uh, not exactly. It's that, so he's currently spinning and uh, launching himself in the direction. By the time his turn comes around again, he's actually going to be past all of you. Oh. Yeah. Well, an object in motion stays in motion, an object at rest stays at rest. Sadly, an object at motion can cause another object to go into motion. Yeah, that is physics. Indeed. So I'd like to lift up my metal arm just high enough. You know how, like, boxers will use the momentum of their enemy to their advantage? Yes. Usually is a function of, like, uh, rolling you know, when the they're impact. Yeah, rolling with the punches so that they can uh, move with it and then kind of use it as a almost a counter fulcrum yeah basically that's the mentality i'm gonna use on hal use the metal arm as basically a hook have him basically use his own momentum against him smack into the metal arm lift jackalope up further and uppercut into whatever part of his head he can using the momentum he gains from hal let's see Based on the position, if you ended up hooking onto him, uh, chances are it'd be because he's currently like full on Beyblading. He's a hor yeah. he's spinning on a horizontal axis while moving uh, laterally. So if he impacts against you, chances are rather than lifting you, it's going to push you alongside in order to spin you around Beyblade style, which will cause you to drag against the ground rather than lift you up into the air. Fair. Well, kicking his legs then. I mean, you can certainly try. It'll be a little bit difficult to hit his legs specifically because much like the rest of him, uh, it's all spinning. Because uh, his entire body is basically turned on its side so that he is a big old spinning circle. Thanks to his uh, gravity effect. Shotgun into his kneecaps with your kneecaps. It's kind of the plan. Uh, you honestly. could also try to find those bolts in the sky and try to shoot him down. Oh, they slammed into my face. They're no longer in the sky. No, no. He, different here's, different bullets. Oh, okay. Yeah. Here's the problem with that. My weapon is all short range. I see. I cause explosions. <laughs> I have to be within punching distance for said explosions to function as they're intended. The only thing I can really do in this instance is attempt to stop Beyblade because there's no guarantee that that Beyblade won't eventually turn around to hit us again. How's talking mad shit for someone with an exploding distance? Exactly. And man, do I love to go boom. All right. Well, if you would like to just blow the frick up <clears throat> uh, right up against him, that's, yeah, that's just a normal uh, attack roll. See, because you're melee, that would be a critical success. Damn. <laughs> First roll of the day. We're starting out strong. You started strong. Okay, let me check if he has anything useful for his... Let's see. Mm. Nope, none of his uh, unique skills will help him in this scenario. Okay, so go ahead and roll 2d6 for, scale, for the amount of damage you deal. Total up six. Um, let's see. All right. 
when uh, you end up setting off the explosion at point blank, punching into him, uh, pretty much just like you're lying on your back. You throw out a nice right straight right as he goes over you. And there's a sound of detonation as immediately he's just sent completely off kilter. If you've ever played Beyblades growing up, yes. there's a certain phenomenon that occurs when you have your Beyblade kind of spinning around. There's that moment when the second uh, second bay hits the field and they slam into each other for the very first time and they both careen off to the side. In this yeah. case, you, both of you are sent hurtling off to the side. In the case of you, Jackalope, it has more to do with the, the force from the impact of the detonation. You're going to be sent about 15 feet off to the side. Not super far. Hal, on the other hand, was not on the ground. His movement is not mitigated by the nature of friction itself, and the massive detonation means that he's going to be destabilized in terms of his center of gravity for a certain definition. And he does not succeed in his role there, meaning that he is not able to restabilize himself with his gravity. So he's just sent hurtling off to the side. Rather than being able to land in a clear and concise manner behind all of you, instead he ends up hitting the dirt hard, skidding across it, and having to use his uh, large axe to drive it down into the ground in order to try and get himself to stop skidding off. He's barely on the battlefield at all, standing right at the edge of the ring as he tries to collect himself, clearly dizzied from the uh, force of the explosion, just really shaking his noggin, as well as the fact that uh, that was not a good place to be. It, once you have been Beybladed, mm-mm, mm-mm. <laughs> mm -mm. Nice job, Jeff. Yeah. Yeah, Along with that, you can tell from the uh, sh uh, rippling around his body from his energy, his aura took a pretty sizable hit there. That was a good amount of damage dealt. Fine. Now, that was your major action. If you want, you can use your movements in order to get up onto your feet, or you can just continue lying there if you would prefer. No, no, I, I would like to stand up. Okay. The jackalope is back on his feet. Do you have any minor actions that you'd like to take? Uh, reloading. <laughs> All right. You end up uh, reloading your good your gauntlets in order to make sure that they're full up on rounds for the next attack. Meanwhile, that means we're moving on to the next turn. Lynn, that's you. I am stuck in wires. And that my wings are sticky. I cannot use them. So I only have like my gravity. Um, can the thing that I talked about before, can I use my gravity that I trained before to compress the target? Let's see, that would be in general, right? I'm just trying to find where you posted about it so I can I read exactly so. what you said. It was a while ago. Uh... Uh... Okay, here we go. Yeah. To squish slash compact. I wrote it down that I trained it, but could I use this as an attack? Um, let's see. So I would say that the answer to that is you trained for it, but I don't think that you finished the training. You got part way through the training, didn't you? I have, mm -hmm. like, one success on it. Okay. Um, if I'm recalling correctly from the episode, uh, I basically said that you haven't finished the training on how to be able to do it into a really tight, compact space. Uh, if you like... If, <laughs> In if the you moment rolled training. 1d6 and you landed a 6, I would count that as the other success. However, I will say it would take your major action if you'd like to take that. It's just that, like, if you want to try and force a sudden uh, understanding of how to do it on the spot, then you could try that. Well, I can't really raise a gun. <laughs> um, uh, and if I, I pull or push her with gravity, the wires are coming with me. <laughs> and I don't have, I don't have strength, so I can't pull the wires either. In the moment training. Well, <laughs> either I die here, <laughs> or who knows? If I, I die here. <laughs> well, do you think maybe it's a it's a, just a moment that I should say fuck it? Let's, let's see. Honestly, so I, I didn't, go ahead. I'd I go for not, it. I didn't build my character for combat, so yeah. I'm just gonna put that out there. <laughs> there's a one d six. There's a one in six chance that you will just learn a new technique. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Shit. 
Yeah. Uh, Unfortunately, as you're trying to figure out how to do the compacting, instead of, you know, being able to do that, instead your focus is starting to get uh, pulled away by the fact that Nyla, as beaten up, bruised, and just damaged as she is, she moves her hands outwards and sharply tenses up her fingers, no, her fingers, and you can feel that some of the wire is now moving around your neck. Oh no! However, it is not doing any damage or anything at the moment. It's just that she's, uh, as you're attempting to uh, retaliate, she just seems to be preemptively preparing. She probably anticipates some sort of attack from you. Okay, well, I can't really move anywhere else. Okay. Yep, that your movement is limited by that. Uh, do you have, let's see, as your minor action, you do have access to your gravity wells. This is true. You want to just save those as your reaction? Yeah, because then I can still push and pull. Um, okay. Oh, technically I still have two instances, right? Because everyone's on the floor. Katie's not. Yeah. Yes, Katie is no longer floating in the air, which means you are you still have access to both. Can I yeah. push both of us at the same time down to the ground? Uh, then yes. The wires won't. Uh, well, yeah, you could. Uh, as it is, the wires are kind of holding. Uh, they're wrapped around you. If you try to pull yourself down, that might result in you pulling against the wires. But Nyla, if we do at the very at the least, same is definitely. You know, so that she doesn't. Yeah. We stay the same amount of distance, but we're just heading to the ground. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, I would say roll three d six since it's a usage of your abilities right there. Oh nice. We're going God. down, bitch! Yeah, no. Can I pull her no. in a diagonal yeah. weight? I'm gonna go right in front of my team. Okie doke. Oh, whoops, that's the wrong one. Yep, uh, especially with two degrees of success, you are able to pull yourself, both of you, yeah. down to the ground region. And, yeah. uh, the distance closed is it's a bit odd at first, uh, trying to pull yourself while still wrapped around and make sure that uh, you're, you've got enough space to pull her as well. But it only takes one of your wells in order to do it. You both are able to pull, get pulled around there, and you're at ground level. Nyla does nice. not seem to be uh, disorientated from the gravity manipulation, though. Make sure. And I'm just going to be like, Jack, fucking blow her up. <laughs> Somebody. <laughs> well, cool. the next person to go is not Jack. Yep, I know. <laughs> yeah. Is she going to be so Hunter? mad if she knocks me out in five shots? <laughs> you got this. And one shot. Yeah, so... That Saffron, uh, she ends up standing up. Well, let's see. Uh, so as a question, Hunter, mm -hmm. are you going to try to like dodge as she's clearly reaching over to grab onto you? Uh, I would try meeting her. Okay. Uh, so I imagine this will become a strength versus strength roll then. Okay. Uh, Go ahead and roll your strength. Thing, but okay. She she only gets one degree of success. I do not. Okay. At that, uh, she grins widely at you and uh, says, Shame it had to go down like this, huh? There's uh, a momentary pause <laughs> so before uh, Jackalope. Can you roll speed for me? Oh. You are on your feet, so you don't have to do any... Uh, uh, so you don't, you're not at disadvantage or anything. Okay, so a net zero, and versus her dex. Well, let me double check what her dex was. Interesting. That's the... I was so confused for a second. I was like, that's not the right numbers. And then I realized I was looking at my Narzo campaign one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Jackalope will get hit. Um. So what's happening here is she's... Now, with the successful strength roll, she grabbed onto uh, Hunter. Mm -hmm. She grabbed onto him by the uh, first by the uh, upper edge of his vest and the other by his arm, and then proceeds to grab him and swing him down like a hammer and is swinging right at Jackalope. Ooh. Ooh, boy. As the two of you slam against one another, each other, I'm going to have you each roll 1d6 for the damage you take. Oh, come on. Oh. oh, come on. Now, Hunter, you have two. Oh, fuck. You have 
zero no health. health now. Uh, can I As roll endurance? Hmm? Can I roll an endurance check? So, you have the the feet. I should be dead, right? Uh, no, I have overflowing aura. Uh, Wally has a uh, jackalope I has. Uh, yeah. I should be dead. Okay, overflowing aura. Um, so in this case, you landed at exactly zero. So I'm going to say that you can roll an endurance check. Sweet. Is this roll related to oops. my aura? <laughs> this one is technically not. All right. Here we go, baby. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah. Hitting zero means that you are out of aura. The endurance is for what was going to take place after you run out of aura. Damn. Normally, if you run out of aura, you will pass out. You know, your life force is mm -hmm. too low and the like. However, individuals who are in a heightened enough state of will are, are often able to stay conscious even when their aura is depleted, if only for a short period of time. That was what you were rolling for. Damn. At a negative one, I'm afraid that the last thing you see before everything goes black is your face rapidly approaching Jackalope's face at a rate that you are not comfortable with. Jackalope, slap me away. <laughs> oh, no. Jackalope, unfortunately, as you end up taking that hit, uh, as I, let's see, I wrote, let's see, Hunter's on Death's Door, Jackalope isn't doing too much better. Uh, I will say that you're not out yet, yeah. but you are at critically low HP as you have now smashed noggins with Hunter as the two of you are in our sense skidding a fair bit. For the you, second time conscious, today. <laughs> or only go back five feet. His insensate body flops across a, a fair further distance. Then there's a uh, momentary pause as uh, Saffron praises her situation. She's used her movement in order to stand up. She's used her uh, major action in order to launch an attack. And now it's time for her minor action. She's going to look over directly to Citrine, wink, look at uh, Katie, wink a second time. Hi. And just casually toss a grenade between Nyla and uh, Lynn. Oh, wow. Uh, there is no subtlety to it. I'm sorry. And, uh, yeah, she's just throwing it. Uh, Nyla, I... her okay. eyes go wide as she immediately uh, raises her arms to protect her face. What? How is raising your arms from a grenade going to help you, lady? <laughs> it's a reflexive reaction, not a logical one. Can uh, I how do you react to the grenade move being it with thrown? gravity? It's either I'm going left or right. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Um, roll 3d6, and I honestly, this like is literally what your reaction is for. But it's left or right for me. Yeah, so... If you get a zero on it, I'll still count as a success. You just won't be able to aim which direction it goes to. As long oh, as you don't score negatives on this roll, you're fine. So 3d6. Sure. Yeah, it's not not a combat real it's not a combat area addict, so right. What was it? That is correct. 3d6? Uh, 3d6, yes. Uh-oh. That is in the negatives. Uh-oh. So you attempt to uh, out use so your strong gravity well too. in order to pull uh, the thing into either left or right. Unfortunately, in your panic state, as you rapidly do the uh, thing, the grenade instead slams firmly into the ground. Right in between you and uh, Saffron. Well, Saffron looks down for a moment, <laughs> takes a slow, deep breath, <laughs> and just takes a moment to pose for the crowd. Before it goes off. <laughs> Fuck you, Saffron. So, uh... <laughs> you can't say that. You're the only one unconscious right now. So in this instance, she's not. Uh, she is not in a good position. So for normally, her dodge roll would be speed. Oh yeah, normally she'd get one d6, but she's at a penalty. So she actually. She'll get 1d6, but only hit on 6. She did not hit a 6. So, in your case, you're largely immobilized. Uh, what's your speed normally? Um, 2. 2. Okay. You can attempt to uh, escape if you would like. If you roll with your full dice, both of, the two, uh, both of them, you will take damage from the, uh, uh, from the wires. 
If you take a penalty, you can attempt to dodge with only one dice and take no damage from the wires. Notably, this is aerial acrobatics, since you will be attempting to avoid, uh... Oh, wait, no, you're out of... You're out of reactions, aren't you? Uh, For it's your gravity well. One. So combat aerobatics is a different one. Yeah, it's that I mean that right now you're on the ground. Yeah. So it's not really... Wait, is it aerial yeah. acrobatics or just combat acrobatics? Acrobatics. I, I was saying it wrong. It's just combat com okay. acrobatics. Okay, then that... Yeah. Okay, in that case, it still applies. So... If you would like, so normally you'd have two dice to roll to uh, to escape. Uh, you would have two re-roll, uh, two with one re-roll thanks to your ability. If you take one dice, re-roll one, you will take no damage from the uh, wires. What would you like to do? Well, but if I don't, then I get, get hit with full, oof, with the grenade. Uh. Yes. You could also attempt well, to roll endurance to just try and reduce incoming damage, um, but your endurance yeah, isn't Yeah, my great. endurance don't work like that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> don't work like that. I can't be like, hit me like the other guys are. <laughs> sure, okay, I'll do the... I'll see what fate has for me. I'll roll the one, two, six, and we'll... S fuck, dude. Okay, well, that is a my good rolls. You don't, I see how you don't even need to. You don't even need your reroll from your ability. Instead, you are able to pull yourself off to the side enough that as you end up shunting over, because Nyla covered her face in order to try to avoid getting hit by the grenade, which, as it turns out, wasn't as much of an issue since you pulled it down onto the ground, uh, she is not able to coordinate it enough to keep you from escaping. Instead, you're able to pull yourself off to the side enough that as the uh, grenade goes off, I'm just going to roll 1d2. You end up making it out of the blast radius and get a, a fair few feet away as Nyla only notices after she uh, you enter her peripheral. Meanwhile, six. That is exactly how much health Saffron had left. Oh, flip. Oh my god. Yeah, that's, that's what I wrote at the end of the last session. Yep, as the, as her own grenade sends her flying back, and she hits the ground hard and skids for a moment and lands right next to Jackalope. Can I just count oh, that as uh, my Wait, what? spirit you... hurting her the, soul? The, the explosions before <laughs> were uh, a large part of it. The goose has dealt the most damage oh. to Saffron out of anyone. <laughs> okay, the and goose the MVP. Yes. She rerolls two thanks to her unique skill. Okay. So she I feel has like two my, my critical did the most damage. <laughs> oh, that's true. Yeah. I, I, I did hear like four times last session. Yeah. Okay, with her reroll two, she has two degrees of success. She has zero HP, and just like with uh, Hunter at zero, she had the opportunity and she passed the roll. She looks over to Jackalope, clearly dazed. Fuck this bitch. And says, "You uh, you want to duke it out?" Jackalope looks at her. She's on the ground. Yeah. Yeah. She's just gonna squat down. Funny. You used my teammate to beat me. <laughs> you didn't kill so, him, did you? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> that was hilarious. Uh, just so you aware, Corn, we can't hear your 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 clicking. I'm not clicking. That's not oh. me. Oh, it's Katie. Maybe. Oh, what? Is it, no. Is it, is it Katie? It may be me. I don't know. It was somebody. <laughs> I'm using a yeah, tablet. She looks, like, yeah, oh. she looks really amused. It's like, help me out. <laughs> we'll, do, we'll finish this off right. <laughs> she needs a nap on the beach. She's like the baby that's like, I'm going to take a nap. No. Jackalope, just slap me awake. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, Jackalope just squatting there looking at her. He's kind of bored. He doesn't want to duke it out with another person like this. Not again. It's been three times already. They're boring at this point for him. Yeah. Well, as uh, you two are interacting, I'll momentarily pause on that so that we can continue it uh, on Jackalope's turn. Because for now, Nyla's now looking through a peripheral at uh, 
uh, Lynn as she's escaping, and she goes, "Fucking Sappho, come on!" Is uh, she immediately retenses her hands and tries to uh, launch a series of uh, threads. The threads that were around your neck loosened for a bit, but now they tighten once again as she's attempting to go for a pretty. It's a surprisingly vicious attack, you can tell, considering the fact that there are ra there's razor wire constricting around your throat and is looping around your wings. I thought I got off, off of that. No, uh, when you rolled that uh, thing, it's that you were moving off to the side to get out of the range of the ex uh, explosive. Was it the two successes that I would need to get out of the wires? Um... No, it's that when there when the explosion was going off, it was that you could roll two dice while uh, constricted and be able to escape. Basically, you'd had the chance to roll two dice uh, to avoid the uh, grenade, or roll one dice. And in both cases, you were constricted by the uh, wires. the The escaping the wires thing wasn't what that previous roll was for, unless you're referring to a different roll. Essentially, the two yeah. dice would have damaged you. The first dice, you would have been able to maneuver so it didn't damage you, but in both cases, there's, they were still on you. Yeah. Yeah, so the goal was to get out of the range of these. In front of oh, back. she looks messed up. She does not look much better than Jack. So just my neck has the razor wires, but the rest is fine? I can't, uh, like, move my gun? So oh, yeah, you can move your guns. There's wires around a good chunk of you, such as your wings and the like, but it's not preventing you from attacking or anything. Oh, it's just wow. it, it's 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 just that our goal is to deal damage to you, rather than okay. immobilize you. Well, I guess I'll just shoot, because uh, I have the exploding one, I think. Because okay. Hunter had the well, other technically, one. it is it is actually her turn rather than yours oh, at the I moment. See, I see. Yeah. So as it is, she's attempting to tighten and constrict all of the uh, wires around you at once, which is just going to be a dex roll. I should just keep the chart open, shouldn't I? <laughs> In her case, so... Don't get... Our... Well, that's really bad. Now, let's see. Oh. <laughs> cool. Uh, all the sixes? She only gets to reroll one of her dice. So, best case scenario is she gets to... Yeah, no, she is a negative two. Not... So, not a critical failure... So you're not on, like, you're still in her wires. However, as she attempts to pull them uh, taut, rather than actually uh, uh, ripping into you or anything, it ends up pulling against your aura and causing it to slide off more, rather than actually digging in and dealing damage. It ends up getting a firmer grasp on you, but doesn't do anything else. Hallelujah. That was her, <laughs> yeah, that was her major action, while her minor one see I'm just going to double check if she's got yeah as her minor one she ends up th uh throwing one of her arms behind her and moving her hands wildly make a sense roll hey two degrees of success yeah she's creating a uh system uh, she's creating a little web behind her so that she'll be able to easily maneuver around as well as use it as a offensive tool you are, with your senses and that roll, you are able to see the wires, even though they should normally be hidden. Oh. For her movement, she just takes five steps back, and that's it. Hmm. Meanwhile, it is now it becomes Katie's turn. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm just I'm just looking at this and just like, ah, oh, that's that's pretty weird, pretty epic, like the Beyblade thing. And so I look over at Shooty Girl. I don't remember her name. Uh, Citrine Lizelle. Yeah, what, what's she doing? Uh, well, she has just previously dived off to the side, is currently laying on her side, and had shot at the uh, Beyblade in order to bounce it. So she's currently prone on the ground. Is she dead? No. <laughs> she huh? just threw herself to the ground so she could take the shot fast enough. I okay. Um, so... Ah, Alright, okay, so... Katie is probably gonna, like... Go over there and just kind of like tackle her or something. This is the nearest enemy, so okay, just just want to just like brush over there. I didn't realize she was lying down. I was going to, if she was standing, I would have break dance sweep the leg, which would have been really cool. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna. Uh, unfortunately, she she is lying down on the ground. Oh, okay. 
In fact, okay, so Katie's gonna roll over and just be like, hey, are you dead? Are you still fighting or like I'm fine. I right, cool. All right. I'm gonna tackle you now. I'm gonna tackle her now. Uh, how? I mean, can you describe to me how you would tackle someone who's like you laying down? Put him down. like in a chokehold or something. Head first into their chest frame. Uh, so I was thinking, I tackle her, and I'm I wanted to like, kind of flip her above me. Are you going to do a reverse I flex? Is. I am genuinely not understanding what you mean. How do you want to, like, you want to immobilize her arms or something? Is your head meeting her chest frame? I am not very good at the visualization thing. <laughs> so, <laughs> what are you trying to do? Um, What's the end goal? Well, I want to get her into a position where I can send the bird bomb that I'd sent, uh, that is still flying around, that I sent up a while ago, so I can just kind of like... Oh, dive bomb the Kazakazi into her? Oh. Yeah. Because I know that she has the eye patch thing, which allows, which would, if I just did it right then, she'd just shoot it out of the sky or something. So I want to get okay. her into a position where she can't do that. Okay. So, <clears throat> you basically want to make it so that she's unable to take the shot by grappling her while she's on the ground. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to say, because it's a grapple, it would be a strength check, but I'm going to give you, uh, you know, re-roll one because she's prone. It'll be strength versus strength, and she is not very strong. Cool, cool. All right. So make your strength roll. You can re-roll that. <laughs> well, I mean, we're going to ignore the fact that it's a one because your original roll was perfectly fine. Both of you roll, the both of you amount to a zero there. Um, mm -hmm. Let me see if she has any unique skills that would be relevant here. I'm pretty sure the answer is no. Yep, she has got, is she... <laughs> I mean, she has a bonus to rolls like this as long as they're at long range, but that's not what a grapple is, now is it? Hi, I'm in your face. <laughs> yeah, so, as it is, you basically jump onto her, and you basically just tack you do a tactical power glomp. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> this basically makes it really hard for her to be able to aim and take the shot, meaning that if you wanted the thing to dive bomb anywhere, you could probably do it safely right now. She would be at pretty big disadvantage on any shots that she tries to do. I would say that she'd have to re-roll uh, her two highest dice. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, and what is it dive bombing I onto? You, birdie. Uh, her? I don't understand the question. Well, I'm just asking because you're on her as well. So if the, if the birdie dive bombs and explodes, won't it also hurt you? Okay, so I will say it's Katie. She's just gonna go for it. <laughs> okay, that is perfectly fine. Um, I'm going to have her roll. Totally worth it. <laughs> Good job. I did and it. She strategy. Re she rerolls her highest two dice, so <laughs> both of her sixes are rerolled. <laughs> Double oh, natural. Flip. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Not what I was Not expecting. Fair game. How does Not she... fair. Okay, what does she fair. do? So, as she does that, ra uh, rather than trying to wrestle with you in order to uh, get a hold of her larger gun in order to do it, uh, you note she reaches into her uh, uh, into her camo jacket and pulls out a smaller handgun. She ends up slipping, uh, she's holding it with her right hand. She slips it underneath her left arm in order to take a bl a almost blind shot, though you know it's assisted with her uh, uh, eye patch. And she fires. It doesn't actually hit the bird. It does hit the explosives, though, specifically the strap holding them there, as the explosives end up falling down to the ground harmlessly. 
You hear her click her tongue as she's like, damn. She may have been intending to blow up your bird. Sheer rage. All right, okay. Can I have... So the birdie's still alive then, right? Or did the explosion Yes, the birdie is still alive. No, the explosion, it didn't go off. The bur- the explosion, the explosives hit the ground and are currently on the ground, but happened to gone off. Hmm. I will draw where they currently are located with a small green circle. That is where the explosives landed. Okay. All right. Your bird is still the- alive, so. Sweet. Okay. I'm going to call for the birdies, like, uh... Birdie, I choose you. Go face. Okay. Well, um, <laughs> let's see. So her speed is actually pretty good. <laughs> Unfortunately, she's not. She is currently being grappled and is prone. So, um, well, let's see if she can dodge. And she has to reroll both of her high ones. Okay, so she gets a negative two on her dodging as the bird just tar- charges towards her and starts smacking her in the face, just pecking at her repeatedly. She's like, ow, stop, stop it, ow. <laughs> Avian destruction. Okay, that is a success on the part of the bird. The bird pulls the eye patch off and throws it to the side as Citrine goes from annoyed to now looking panicked. Ooh, shiny. Ish. Yeah. Can I, can she immediately I, shouts, going blind. I think so, that's uh, a reverse of what taking off the eye patch would do. What? <laughs> Our Al, entire team is this, just like immediately turns, uh, immediately turns, and let's see. In order to clear the distance, that's it's fifty feet. His speed is. Oh yeah, he can actually move fifty feet and around. Jesus. Yep. Thanks to having mm. a uh, the the one of the highest base speeds possible, he ends up clearing that, getting close to there immediately. Okay. Rather than focusing on taking out Jack, his uh, original plan. Now the hunter's out. He immediately goes forward and levels his uh, guillotine axe at uh, Katie. Oh hi. <laughs> yeah, Citrine. Uh, Katie, because you're so close to her, you can clearly tell what's going on here as uh, Citrine grits her teeth, shuts her eyes tight, and braces for impact. What is going on here? He has done Uh, so much damage to his own team. (laughs) I mean, they're hugging. He can't separate the targets. (laughs) So instead, he's just going to raise the... uh, uh, guillotine axe over his head with his full speed and his uh, mo- uh, his full sprinting speed and his gravity manipulation together, he is swinging down the uh, guillotine axe towards Katie. Oh, flip. Katie, I'm okay. going to have you roll dex. Hi. It'll be an opposed dex against Citrine. <laughs> That's not good. Oh, dice, come on. <laughs> You have anything okay, that can well, help you? Know? Zero versus a negative two. So I think we know what this looks like. So Citrine, uh, as you and Citrine kind of struggle for a moment in order to try and get out of the way, Citrine actually holds you steady and aims your body towards the guillotine axe. Oh, no, this is scary. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom. Now let's see. Using his semblance in order to enhance the attack... And the full running thing, this will be... All nat ones, baby. All nat ones. I don't know. I've had a lot of ones. Okay, so first is his attack roll. Okay, so his damage is going to be reduced by a full dice because he's in the negatives. So he's only going to deal 1d6 damage instead of the two that he uh, would have done from all of the uh, speed buildup. And he rolled a two on it anyway. It's a good thing it just that... barely skims her shoulder. <laughs> it's a good thing that sharp objects only deal minor impact damage. Yeah, everyone knows that. Why would you bring that up right now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as it ends up slamming into you, at just the very last second, you manage to shove your way off to the side as rather than impacting directly against you, it just slams sharply against your arm. It, it stings. It hurts like the dickens. But that's all it ends up doing. 
it just hurts. You can tell that uh, both Citrine and Hal are not happy about this turn of events. Hunter is unconscious, his turn is passed, as it is now Citrine's turn. As you, um, bitch. It's going to be an opposed strength roll. Which is not her best. Uh, okay, she rolls a two. Um, so you just... Yeah. Uh, so that's a, a, a opposed strength roll against you, Katie. Okay. She's trying to break oh. out. Well, both of you got zeros, but you got the whole higher dice number, so I'm going to say that you can choose. Do you let her go, or do you continue clinging onto her with your power glomp? Uh, I'm going to continue clinging onto her with the power glomp. Okay. Well, that was her major action. Her movement is uh, stunted because of that, so her minor action is the only thing she's got left. Um, and re-roll the highest dice for her. Yeah, no. Uh, Ooh, she tries to reach first. over in order to grab her uh, uh, eye patch, which could have been doable, except instead she keeps getting pecked in the face by the uh, bird and is completely unable to reach out towards it due to the continued uh, avian harassment. You go, Birdie. So while so she's she's not out of the fight, but she's not getting back into it just yet. Meanwhile, <laughs> back to Jackalope's turn as uh, Saffron is extending her arm out to you in order for you to help her up. Jackalope is just going to be looking at how run from the corner of his eye, and his eyes tr slowly trail back to this person on the ground. Hey, do you mind just staying down? I mind a lot, actually. You either Maybe. pick me up or put me down because I'm either coming after you or I'm going after the birdie. Oh, I got hit in the head way too hard. You're the, the, the Faunus girl. Hey, Lynn, how are you holding? Um. Um. Fine. But don't let the tiger girl come at me. <laughs> Jackalope's eyes slowly trail back to the tiger girl. All right. As Jackalope just readies to knock her out. Okay. Power punch. Uh, this will be a strength, and due to her being in a position of, uh, uh, like, not quite prone, but basically being like that, you'll re-roll your lowest dice. All right. Okay, so you can re-roll one of your twos. Okie doke. This will be her speed, which, as I recall, is not particularly high. Yeah, no, her speed is trash. But it's it's still enough to get one success. As you uh, end up throwing the punch towards her, she ends up moving her head to the side just enough that you are you end up punching only her hair as she then leans in forward and uh, with a massive grin, so that you are pretty much chest to chest as she pushes herself uh, it's into a kneeling stance next to you. <sighs> Obviously, she can't take an action, but because it's not her turn, but uh, she's not out for the count. All right. You still have a minor action, if you would like. I would like to ready myself for impact. Okay. Then I will say that if she uses an attack on you next round, you will gain a bonus and be able to reroll your lowest dice on. Uh, 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 I stuff think you like should that. just be prepare an action because she might just try to go past you. But then again, that would be a check well, if, if she tries. Well, to go she's past a you. grappler. No, Jackalope is preparing for any form of attack that include he's including grapples in that mindset. Mm, yeah, I was thinking I, I that she had like stated that she was gonna go after me. So like, no, she what if she stated that Jackalope uh, that Jackalope either has to take her down or she's going to go after you. So basically, she's like, okay, Jack, if you don't fight me, I'll fight her. But it looks like Jack just chose to fight her. Oh, okay. I'll... Okay, so you are preparing for the next thing, which will give you a bonus to your uh, defenses next round. They're not next round, but on her turn. Uh, Lynn, it is now your turn. The full cycle has gone around. You now have both of your gravity wells back. Um, can I toss out a grenade 
Um, and then, can I help that with like two, like like gravity push it to her? Yes, if you're willing to use both of them at once, I'd say basically you get two bonuses to your uh, roll. Yeah, I'll do. That. Okay, so what is your dex roll? Uh, it's a two, so it's a okay. Four. So it's your choice. You can roll up to four dice. Or you can roll like three dice, re-roll one, or you can roll two dice and re-roll two. Any combination of how you use your bonuses is up to you. Do the two, and then okay, two I want to see two. if I can do one more. That's pretty good. Oh, can I do, okay. wait, can I do the, another one? Because it's two d6 that I got for bonuses? Uh, if you choose to use them for uh, re-rolls, uh, then that's all you can <laughs> use them for. Yeah, I see. well, you got one. You got uh, one degree of success, which does mean that the grenade that you throw is going to get within it. It's she's within range of it. Now she's currently within her defensive thing, so she gets to roll. Uh, that'll, but she's at a penalty. One degree of success versus your one degree of success. Um, and both of you rolled a total of ten on your dice. Okay. Um. You're completely tied up. Okay, I'm going to have both of us roll 1d6 in order to resolve the tie. Whoever rolls higher will be the winning one there. Does that sound fair? Sure. Cool. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> you... Oh, okay. All right. She's able to pull herself away and towards her uh, defensive area in order to decrease the damage, though not uh, nullify it entirely. She'll take 1d4 damage from the explosive uh, explosion. And takes three points of damage. Pretty nice. respectable. She ends up raising her arms in order to protect her face from it again, which seems to be a practiced habit from the seams of things. As uh, she's now, rather than being on the ground surrounded by her uh, wire webbing, she's actually now jumped into the air and is supported on the webbing that is lined up between the two pillars alongside that those areas. Now, you do still have your movement action and your minor action. If you like, you can try to get out of the uh, wires as your minor action. Sure. Is that like a dex or something? Uh, yes. It'll be a dex against her penalized dex. Double penalized dex, because she's distracted and took damage. I hope I don't kill myself here. So, freak. Okay, well, a three and a four, you know, that's not great. But it's not awful. Because she doesn't actually gain any bonuses from her attack right now. And her double penalty means she re-rolls her two highest dice and doesn't take the successes from them. Because it's a penalty. So, yeah, no, your, your zero still beats her negative one. Yay. You are able to get out of the wires and escape them. A uh, faint phantom feeling of the wires squeezing around your uh, wings and throat is still there, but the actual wires are gone. There's just a minor discomfort. Okay, then I'm gonna... Okay, can and then I what still... you have left is your movement. Well, she can probably reach pretty far with the wires. I don't know. I'll just... Uh, I'll just stay here, I guess. <laughs> okay. Then it is now... Uh, it skipped a chunk again. Okay. It is now Saffron's turn. Now, you do have the bonus. Let's see. Okay. Saffron is going to immediately go in for a uh, grapple attack using strength. You do have your bonus, uh, mm -hmm. since you did predict that this was what was going to happen. So, in her case, she gets her 46. Oh, two degrees of success. So, would you like to dodge, uh, finesse it, or tank it? In Jackalope's case, probably tank. We have like two okay. hit points. <laughs> okay, yes, so... we also have to remember his semblance, and he also has the dead thing. So uh, go ahead and go for uh, an endurance roll then. Reroll your uh, highest, or sorry, reroll your lowest because you have your benefit, your bonus. Okay, so you've got a degree of success. But the other one's not there. Uh, let's see, uh, can you tell me what "I should be dead" does again? It whenever I take damage. Let's see. 
or stubbornness. Let's see, I should be dead. Plus one to do to all rolls regarding resisting any form of damage. Okay. And then I have so, stubborn, which okay, I think I've already abused. Uh, once per time period, so I'm pretty sure it's already been used. If the player would be knocked unconscious, roll an easy in endurance check instead of on a pass remain conscious. Which I oh, believe actually, you uh, you're not. Yeah, you're yet. not at. You have not been knocked into negatives yet, so that mm -hmm. you still have stubborn active. Uh, for this though, you are resisting damage. Did you add the extra dice or the extra reroll for that? Uh, I did not add the extra dice. Okay, so go ahead and roll another d6 to represent that. <laughs> Darn. Wow, I'm not doing well right now. Yeah. So in her case, let's see, and she's got that. Yeah. Not, okay. So she's going to grab uh, one of her hands is going to basically go up to the back of your uh, neck as the rather than trying to go for a full on punch. She, her uh, So her left hand is going to the back of your neck. Her right hand is going towards your hip. What she's then doing is pulling you very sharply and very suddenly as she raises her knee to drive it into your solar plexus. Ooh. All right. Does she use enough energy for me to be able to uh, grab some charge? Yes. Uh, so she is... She gets to... Do, oh, shit. What? Okay. Um, make your E&D. Your... This, you, this proc stubborn. Ooh. Let's see, and that's... And by the way, if you uh, stay conscious, you will get... You will instantly get a full charge from the uh, damage you take. Ooh, no. Oh. Jack was ripped apart pretty hard this fight. Ooh. Oh, these well, dice. Unfortunately, dice, please. as I mean, if you can find a way to install them on roll 20, as her oh knee God. settles itself into your solar plexus, you are very sharply reminded just of exactly how much it hurts to have every bit of the air ripped out of your mm. chest from an impact so sharp that you could swear it almost caved in a lung. Ooh, ooh, okay. I have something for You're... this, actually. Well, go ahead, tell me. The moment that she does that, and it knocks the wind out of him, just the largest amount of bloodlust, just boom. Okay. Before yeah. it's just that... gone. Yeah. In that moment, uh, her hair seems to floof out almost violently in response to the bloodlust as her hand goes around to uh, grab your chin to basically force eye contact. But when she sees that the light has just... You're, the consciousness has faded out, uh, Lynn, thanks to your uh, sense, well, your high senses, you are able to actually see the disappointment in her eyes as she realizes that that bloodlust wasn't the start of an, something of a new round or a new phase in the boss battle. It's just the end. As she just then drops Jackalope onto the ground. My gosh. These dice have supported that team so <laughs> hard in the last, like, 20 minutes. Uh, well, I mean, even if you had tried to dodge, maybe you wouldn't have made it. Jack, here's the thing. I have a dex of four, but a speed of two. Yeah. It was other meet it. Right. It was either meet it, somehow redirect it. That was my only options that would have realistically been reasonable. That's At that, awesome. Saffron then raises her hand up, pointing to the sky, and then slowly lowering it down until she's pointing at Lynn. Also, Corin, I do believe the, the clicking is you. I've been double-checking. <laughs> So yeah, but I'm not clicking anything. I can hear the clicking in my headset because I because it's coming through the sounds. I'm hearing it. I'm not doing it. That's so weird because yeah, I keep looking at Discord and you're the only ones there, and my 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 mic is muted. <laughs> it's probably roll twenty or something of that nature. Just don't worry about it. It's so weird. Well, yeah, but yeah. So as uh, she points. She just, rather than running to clear the distance, she just w closes half the distance with a casual saunter. As Make she looks around head. and is choosing to play to the crowd, considering the fact that you are being watched by the other students. 
<laughs> so Meanwhile, <an> absolute uh, <laughs> beat down. <laughs> Nyla is now looking uh, around to the rest of the group, takes a slow, deep breath, and crouches down on the wire she's on before bouncing off of them, using it as a uh, almost a uh, trampoline-like thing. Now, let me double-check her speed. Her speed is just as high as his. Okay. She closes the distance right onto Katie and Hi. is leading Saffron and Lynn to face off so that there can be... So that, basically, Saffron is now here to distract Lynn and make it so that the other thing is a 3v1 curb stomp. Real popular today, aren't I? Or, well, I guess I shouldn't say 3v1. Because, let's see. Use your yes. Yeah. There's a, as she lands on the ground, she uh, is ready to uh, throw an attack directly at Katie before her feet are knocked out from under her and she hits the ground hard, uh, completely caught off guard. As you hear a resounding and defensive, huh? <gasps> <laughs> I feather you angel. Goose, this the goose stands uh, uh, stalwart beside Nyla, who just ate freaking dirt. And uh, he's clearly glaring down her with a uh, almost smug expression. She loses her, uh, while she got to do her movements, she loses her attack action due to having been completely blindsided by a goose. Katie, Ooh. it is now your move. I, okay, you all right. Completely still. You are currently still power glomping, Citrine. Okay, so... Whew, all right. I am going to let go of Citrine and then make for the eye patch. Okay. Roll an opposed uh, strength. Uh, oh, my God. Citrine. Yeah, Citrine. Uh, Good God. Yeah, this time Citrine is the one ho holding on to you now. Her arms wrapped around your abdomen and being like, nope, no, you're not getting away. I Okay. By the way, you, you still have your guns. Yeah, all right. That, that's what I was thinking. So is she just, she's just holding on to my torso or something? Yes. Uh, I love okay, the idea so... that she grabs onto you. You're not going away. <laughs> you just point guns like you're not, I'm not trapped here with you. You're trapped here with me. <laughs> Captain Cupcake, uh, Cupcakes, let's go. Pull it out and shoot her in the face. Uh, Citrine <laughs> or Nyla? Who? The one that she's grappling? No. Yeah, are you trying to shoot the one the, that you're yeah. grappling, or are you trying to shoot the one who just ate dirt? Uh, the, the, the one that, the one, uh, Citrine, one's holding me. Okay. Shooty lady. Okay. Um, all right, so go ahead and make a dex roll, and it'll be against her penalized speed. Mm-hmm. Oof. No, wait, wait, she's grappled and prone, so double penalized speed. Oh my so she rerolls both of her high dice. Oh, oh. So oh. she gets a negative yep. She gets a negative one to your zero. <laughs> so you are, are able so to shoot hard. her in the face. <laughs> now, interestingly, she her grip on you is completely lost in this moment. Not specifically because you shot her, but because the muzzle flash is not just blinding, it's especially blinding to someone who has had an eye patch over their eye the entire time. It's so set up for low light, uh, low light at the moment that the blindingly bright muzzle flash is actually genuinely agonizing to her. I she takes three, she rolls 1d3, she takes th the full three points of damage as her hands, she releases you to put her hands over her previously eye-patched eye and is uh, making a pretty high-pitched hissing sound from the pain. Uh, yeah, you, you, can use your uh, you can use your movement to get up now. Mamiya All right, okay. she's not out cold at this point. Nyla? Or, I'm sorry, Citrine? Yeah. Citrine didn't take super amounts of damage. It's Nyla who's on knocking on death's door. Ah. Uh. But yeah, so yeah, scrolling wanna... up, it oh. was yeah. I wrote that Citrine is hurt, but not terribly. Whereas Nyla was fairly damaged before. Uh, so their entire team is just knocking on death's door at the moment. Oh, so uh, Hal, Hal, 
Hal is beat. Hal is a little beat up, but he's mostly fine. Nyla is at critically low HP. Saffron is at zero HP. <laughs> She's Hasn't not doing Hal gotten good. Like two criticals on him so far. Has he? Uh, let me scroll up to see what I wrote as his damage. He was written as Hal is. Oh, Hal is like totally fine. He keeps dodging. Oh. Seems like he wasn't. That's what Fuck I wrote as the Hal. notes at the uh, end of that. Yeah, Hal is out of the whole team. Hal was the one who took the least damage. Yeah, the biggest amount of damage he took was when I think it was Saffron. Brain can't remember. Nyla, Nyla, nylon, nylon strings. I really should have seen that correlation. Huh? Was when sh or is that the right one? The string lady. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, is the, I think the only time she actually took any major damage is when Jacklip slammed her into Hal. <laughs> I think that was the yeah, only time he actually took legitimate damage. <laughs> Fair. Yeah, that's pretty much all he's been hit by. So Hal is mostly fine up until the uh, point where uh, he got blown the frick up by uh, Jackalope. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so Katie, your movement was to get back up. Your main action was to shoot Citrine in the eye. Uh, you still have a minor action if you'd like to do something with your Grim, with your Birdie, or if you'd just like to direct the Goose to do something. Can I can I put on the eye patch? <laughs> oh, shit. You know what? Yes, you can put on the eye patch if you like. Oh, what did you do? <laughs> everyone's watching. <laughs> so curious. Ooh, shiny. <laughs> okay, go ahead and roll me 1d6 as you put it on. Okay. Six. Okay. You, with that roll, you roll to success. You are not given motion sickness as you now can see from two different perspectives through different portions of the eye patch wow. where you can see a bird's eye view from directly above the fight and further off to the side so that you can give a slanted angle in order to show more of the battlefield. Holy wow. fuck! It feels this is epic. Yeah, honestly, it's a lot like looking down at the crowd from the uh from the clouds. Mm. Is Citrine, of course, would take the compliments if she were not currently in agonizing pain from being blinded. Huh. All right, cool. Can I? Okay, was that was that my minor action? Um, because you rolled a six on it, I'm gonna say nah. I'm just gonna say it was a fun thing you did. <laughs> All right. Um. All right, well, in which case, I'm going to I'm going to make for the I'm going to make for the grenade. That was uh left over there. Okay. Yeah, the one that's right next to Nyla. Yeah. So Okay. How um, does the So oh. you can't really do much movement at the moment because like I said your movement was taken up by you getting up from prone. All right. Okay, I'm going to tell the goose to do the thing with the grenade. Roll 1d6 and hit on fours, because normally it'd be 1d6 to control him very well. You It hits on fours because you're telling the goose to do anything involving an explosive. Yeah, yeah this, this that, that goose checks out. Christ, Mr. Goose. Yeah, yeah <laughs> just, just continuous winning. Capping on damage, multiple sixes. Uh, apparently, the, the thing that you needed to do wasn't roll cool attacks, it was send in the goose. <laughs> The goose is able to run over and grab the explosives. He holds it high up in his beak and lets out a triumphant ah! Yeah, kind of chokes a little on the explosive in his mouth. Don't eat it. <laughs> How uh, else is he going to hold it? He doesn't have opposable thumbs. That's fair. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna... he's not currently able to use them. However, he currently has a whole bunch of explosives. And it's clear that uh, Nyla, from her position on the ground, is unnerved by the level of chaotic bloodlust coming from the explosive strapped duck right now. <laughs> Goose. That's not there's what she's thinking. No, oh, there's a big old difference. She doesn't know the difference. It's a Canadian goose right there. She doesn't even know what a Canadian is. That is fair. Hal, meanwhile, is currently juggling internally whether or not he should attack the goose or not. <laughs> I feel that. I wouldn't advise it. He's attacking the goose. I wouldn't advise it. 
He uh, aims his uh, gun immediately, shoulder uh, gets ready to take the shot, and let's see how he fares with his dex roll. Uh-oh. Now, Hal only has 2d6 on his uh, dex roll. Okay. Oh. Then we're going to roll 2d6 for the goose's dog. Oh my god, a perfect tie. Are you serious? Oh my god. Mr. Goose, are you okay? This is the battle of the century. The goose, the goose wins. The, the goose wins the roll. The goose throws himself <laughs> violently off to the side, but manages to have almost an air, elegant air to it as he spreads his wings wide. And the shot ends up going right between his head and the uh, spread out wing, very nearly hitting the explosives as he lands directly on Nyla's head. Oh my god. Yeah, he's just standing there. Hunter is still a corpse. (laughs) (laughs) Unconscious, thank you. (laughs) So Citrine, Citrine, uh, she scrambles to her feet and taking a cue from Hal, just the worst possible cue for her to try to take. Yeah, that's what I figured. She immediately swings her uh, weapon, not, not firing since it's way too close of a range for that. She tries to swing at the goose and ends up missing as the goose jumps over the swinging thing in order to land right next to Katie, holding the explosives in his beak. <laughs> the, duck, the, the goose has won every single role he's been involved in. <laughs> he really is an MVP. Holy crap. He, yeah. That's not how statistics is, spo- is supposed to work. This is how the goose statistics work. Wow, we we would be less off without the goose. <laughs> yeah, if the it goose was supposed to here... be a comedy relief character. The goose is pissed that the <laughs> Emmy took out Hunter. Only the goose is allowed to destroy and humiliate Hunter. And then also to destroy buildings and cities in annihilation. <laughs> is he gonna be the end villain boss? Like the, this... the anti hero? <laughs> this this goose is angry. <laughs> Yeah. For her minor action, she pulls out, or she takes that pistol that she'd previously held out and just points it at Katie and says, tell him to stand down. Now. <laughs> I can't tell the goose to do anything. The goose acts of his own accord. I can only make suggestions. I don't believe you. She tries to take a show, oh my god. She tries to take a shot at Katie. Katie, roll your speed. She has negative one. What is my speed? Oh, all right. Well. Your zero beats her negative one. Wow, You're fine. Negative- she misses. <laughs> She's quivering. What is her hand going is on? shaking. The chaotic She's- character is doing us a favor. Yeah. Jackalope, if you're still unconscious. <laughs> Lynn, it's your turn. Well, you can I'm see Saffron get- is approaching you menacingly. Wow. I'm going to get up off the ground with gravity. I'm going to fly around the pillar for some cover, and I'm going to toss a grenade at her. Or maybe I should just shoot okay. her. It's the same amount of decks. I will say that if you're trying to throw the grenade over the pillar while you don't yes. have line of sight, you'll be penalized. Is that if you okay want to okay? shoot her with line of sight, it's fine. Hmm? Is that fine? Oh yeah, that's still line of sight, so go ahead. And you then, can throw a grenade and do a dex. Yeah. If that, and then I'm going to go... I'm going to watch her, and then... I just want to finish her off. She okay. should be fucking out cold ah. by now. <laughs> I don't have acrobatic. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, I don't know where the grenade goes. Nowhere. Okay. All right. Well, you kind of miss, but she also doesn't do great. Uh, both of you with a net zero, she ends up moving to the side to try to avoid it. You end Basically, the grenade goes wide a bit too far. And when it goes off, it creates a big old dust cloud between the two of you to break up uh, vision. But aside from that, it doesn't seem to have dealt any damage thanks to mutual zeros. You do, let's see, that was uh, that was your action. You still have one more action. Is there anything else you wanted to do? Let's see. Um, could I sense... Uh... Because maybe I'm wondering if I should try to get rid of the things that you know, I... 
can't do a really attack gravity stuff. Um, can I push her to try and slam her against the wall with gravity? Uh, that's not a wall. That's an edge of an arena, oh, which okay, leads out into an open area. What about this so. one? Then? Uh, you could try. Yes, it'll be against her strength. Okay. Okay. So you go ahead and roll three d six. That is not. Oh damn! Damn! <laughs> this split. bitch is oh, oh, oh my god! Split. Boof! Okay. Oh no! With her, okay. With her bonus, she gets to roll, re-roll one d six. If on, she please. gets one more, yes. nope. If she had gotten that, then it would have been two crit successes back to back. But it is not. Here it is with a three versus a two. It's not as massive of a difference as otherwise, but you are able to throw her back, and she does impact against the thing. Due to her benefits, I will roll 1d6 minus two. At zero, you know, who knows? Let's see what happens. She'll take three points of damage. Oh. Her back slams down hard into it, and there is this moment of silence as she slumps down lands on her knees, and is clearly about to uh, go down when her second unique skill activates. This isn't even my second floor. <laughs> her hand Fuck hits the bitch. ground hard, and you can see that the aura around her that shattered earlier when she was set to zero seems to start reforming, not in the shape of the same armor, but almost like a wild torrential burst of wind surrounding her. Her ability, Second Wind, has activated, giving her 10 temporary hit points for three rounds. Jesus oh my gosh. Christ Having been reduced, almighty. So that means that she is at seven temporary hit points. As oh. she rears her head back and lets out a howling scream before focusing directly onto the uh, uh, pillar between you and her. Well, at least Since I'm not on the ground turn. floor, but I'm still kind of next Full on adrenal rush. See, she uh, surges forward. Let's see what her. So That's, I would be I also this... by the top of the pillar, so twenty feet up. Yep. So as she clears it to up there, she is a. So that took thirty of her feet. She has speed of one. So, ah, yep. Nope. She would be five feet shy of being able to reach you in melee range, even with her buffs and benefits. So she actually cannot get into melee range with you right now. Thank fuck. That is the scariest thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> However, what you can see is that she is now five feet away from you because she leaps onto the pillar, digs in hard enough to crack it with her hands and with the gauntlets and greaves, and is climbing up it at you. Wow. Wow. I'm a For my reaction, she grasps some of the stone, breaks it off, and throws it at you. She does not have high dex, whereas you have uh better stats so in her case shotgun pellet uh let's see roll either uh, yeah roll speed and keep in mind that this is acrobatics so you gain a bonus so let's see you can either add an extra dice or re-roll one afterwards Not it doesn't today. even matter it doesn't even matter yeah uh, zero versus two degrees of success it misses oh man yeah, so, so scary. <laughs> she is uncomfortably close, but that is the end of her turn. As Nyla is currently, uh, let's see, her first move is she's going to try to get the, the goose off of her. <laughs> so. The goose finally loses a roll. Oh my god. I literally one point. As she grabs the goose, slaps him hard enough that he uh, gets uh, just sent uh, careening off to the side. I know. Um, what about the explosive? Except I just realized, yeah. Uh, nope, that's a success. So, uh... Everyone's gonna take 1d6 damage because the impact on the ground is just... Nope. Everyone but the goose that just got kicked out of the range <laughs> is gonna take oh damage. Yes, the goose, the goose did not lose the roll. Yes, yes. The goose, the goose lost oh on purpose. <laughs> this is all according to the goose's plan. He gets, he gets slapped and then there's a shine in his eyes as he smirks. <laughs> so first... 
<laughs> Nyla takes five points of damage. Oh my god. And the, the major Citrine middle three. finger that this Pal goose takes just let out. And Katie takes four. So everyone took pretty good damage from that. Um, Does anyone Nyla get? is straight up knocked out. Nyla's oh out. God. The goose yes. has a casualty. Has a second wind. Nyla does not have second wind, so Nyla's oh. just straight up, Nyla's now knocked out as a result of her own actions. She's out of fight. Oh my god, the goose took someone out. I, the goose is laying on the ground, smugly. Like, he's currently splayed across the ground, but is just looking across as if to say, do what you must. I have already won. <laughs> <laughs> Katie, Katie, it is like... your move. Just like, You've just been exploded. Again. exploded. <laughs> How many hit points did you take? Oh my goodness. Whoa. Took four? Four damage. You're, yeah, mm -hmm. you're not feeling so hot, Katie. You, as I recall, you don't have high endurance, right? Uh, no, I actually, um, my endurance is pretty good. It's it's as good as my dexterity. Oh yeah, dang, you're right. Things. Yeah, you have a three in endurance, okay. She's yeah, no, you're, as you're not doing too bad. I yeah, take, okay. I take a damn. lot. I'm... Yeah, you're not feeling so bad. Citrine, on the other hand, is taking damage pretty quickly from this. Citrine's got low endurance as well. Hal is not looking too bad, honestly. All right. Okay. Um, where's my birdie? Your birdie is uh still pecking Citrine. <laughs> oh, actually, wait. Oh, what happened with the explosion? I forgot. Yeah, exactly. The birdie's not no, on the floor, no, though. your bird's dead. Your bird's oh, dead. Birdie's oh. dead. Flip. Yeah, wow. the bird was attacking Citrine, and Citrine was in the blast radius, and it just took max damage. So, uh, that's two. The, go the goose has a kill count of two for this fight. Dear God. Wow. <laughs> so, wait, so Citrine and Ly not Nyla, they're both taken out by the goose? No. No, your oh, bird was bird. taken out by the and goose. Nyla. Oh, the bird was taken out by the goose. Okay, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, Citrine is, so also, is looking pretty beat up. This one and this one. Yes. Goose, man. And Saffron still has three rounds worth of seven HP. Yeah, goodness gracious. Yeah, whichever one happens first. Okay, all right. So, I am going to... I'm going to get down, and I'm going to... Okay. I'm going to get down, I'm going to break dance, sweep the leg of Citrine. Can I do that? Yes, because she did get up onto her feet. I'm right. going to say that's a dex roll. Yeah. Nice. Success. That's a degree of success. Okay, so you are going to be able to sweep the leg. I will say that you're not going to be able to do a lot of damage as your peak. So roll 1d4 damage, but she will be knocked prone. Yeah. Yeah, three. Okay, so she's pretty beat up. Uh, that was your main attack. You still have a movement and a minor attack. Yeah. Or minor okay. action, I mean. All right. Um, right. I'm going to want to do something to Hal next. I've got Citrine down, which hopefully will take some steps. Sorry. Strike it slightly. Okay. What do I do for Hal? Um, I don't know if I have enough action stuff with the... With my gun, though I would like to shoot him. Doesn't your gun have a grenade function? My gun, it's a grenade launcher. It's its, it's main yeah. thing. If you if you just want to fire a grenade, so firing a grenade specifically at him in a way that wouldn't hit the area around him, including you, would take a full action. If you just want to shoot in a way that would hit everybody around you, including yourself, I will allow that 100%. Smoke bomb? Yeah, smoke bomb. Smoke bomb. You want smoke bomb? Yeah. Okay. Uh, since Wait, it's a smoke bomb, on. I just realized my goggles. I, uh, I don't know what the what does what does Oracle my, goggles. My goggles. Yeah, my Oracle goggles. Yeah, they'll let you see stuff. things like aura, which means yeah, that you'd be able to see through the smoke. Sweet. Or more accurately, okay. you'd be able to see them through the smoke. Sweet. Okay. Yeah. Smoke okay. bomb. So smoke bomb. Uh, you don't have to make a roll on that because you're not targeting anyone or anything like that. You're literally just dropping something on the ground and letting it blow up. So there is now a big old thing of smoke. Yay! Dang it! I hate how my thing is broken. Yeah. There we go. Okay, this is the smoke ring. 
Yeah. I'm probably just gonna like uh do some healy stuff just to like move about so you won't uh know exactly where I am, so I'm just like Burp. Yeah. Okay. There's a momentary silence before Hal says I'm gonna do it. Citrine there's a you can hear Citrine give a low, long sigh. As uh Hal then you you can see that Hal is pulling something out of his pocket. And, and like, he just kind of was like, hmm, now let's see. According to my calculations, if I'm right, there's no way that I'm going to be able to figure out exactly where you are, scary bunny lady. <laughs> but here's the, the, here's the best part. I don't have to know where you are. The, uh, you can see it, Aura ignites. As you can see, a bandolier of grenades light up with aura. Goosey McGoose Goose time. <laughs> yeah. He ends up swinging it down sharply and hitting the ground as the grenades fly out in every direction. As Citrine just throws herself uh, as quickly as she can out of the way. But considering the fact she has very little time to do it and it's not her turn. Let's see if she's... It's just going to call the cozy everyone? Nope, nope. So, firstly, uh, Katie, roll speed, because you can see this coming, so you actually have a chance to dodge. Yeah. Oh. You have my condolences. Now, that is. Hank it. So, these are not the damage rolls, but these are rolls for how lucky each person was. He's not too unlucky. Meanwhile, let's check Citrine's luck. Citrine's, Citrine's a little less lucky. Uh, go ahead and roll 1d6, Katie. You're pretty lucky. Let's see that okay. goose! <laughs> the goose has been knocked out of the range from Nihilus' attack previously. Oh, okay. Okay. The goose took this into account. Yes, he did. He knew. Okay, so... <laughs> Katie, you take one point of damage. Nice. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Five points of damage are dealt to Citrine. And three points of damage are dealt to Hal. Citrine is knocking on Death's door and is knocked, like, into the dirt. Is currently uh, prone off to the side. Meanwhile, uh, Hal is not looking so great. The smoke is cleared immediately by the explosion. As uh, Hal's just standing there, he's like... Oh. And he turns to look directly at Katie with the smoke cleared up. He's like, so, what now? As Do it is now, uh, respect. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I learned it from watching you. It works surprisingly. <laughs> oh, my lungs hurt so bad. Yeah, if that happens. You good there, buddy? I'm there's a shout of, I am surrounded by idiots as uh, uh, Citrine raises her gun and aims directly at Katie. Oh, hi. With the knockback, this qualifies as a long-range shot thanks to her using her rifle. She does not have her eye patch, which is still on you. Hi. I can see everything. See <laughs> this coming. Okay, and oh, she gets to reroll her lowest dice on ranged things. Yeah. Oh but, no. Okay, so she gets she gets a critical success on you, Katie. So uh, uh -huh. when the shot goes off, there is a moment where you can just all you're really thinking is, "Oh, dip," before <laughs> you can feel your chest concaving from the impact, as you notice that she has fired a gravity dust based round directly into your torso. Wow. So I'm going to roll for your luck real quick. You like, absolutely so, saw that coming. <laughs> okay. So that roll was to see how you would bounce. You were right next to the pillar, so if you would, if that had been a low roll on there, you'd have hit your head on the uh, pillar and taken an additional d6. But here, you take seven points of damage. Oh, flip. How about that? You are sent skidding. Um, well, I'd say that if you take another seven points of damage, you're probably out. I must admit, 
Not the first time I've been shot. This is certainly one of the least good. Okay. It's now Lynn's turn. Yeah. Yeah, you can, thanks to your uh, enhanced senses, especially hearing, you can clearly tell. Uh, she just got shot. Capital S. I'm good. Yeah. You can tell she's lying. Oh. Okay. Well, technically, am I like this away from her? Or is she like this? Do I need to disengage? Um, or am I? Uh, she I is basically see. just about in melee range. Okay, On so her turn, she... she will close that distance if at all possible. Okay. So I don't want that to happen. <laughs> so. Uh, okay. Well. I'm thinking. She'd be climbing pillars, bro. <laughs> She's she an actual tiger. She's so scary. Yeah. Um, she, she's out. Um, uh, oh man, I believe I the blue is out and the sniper is damn near out. If I have a, a plus two speed, does that just mean like a regular 30? You can do a 30. So the thing is, you can move 30 feet plus five feet for every rank and speed you have. So in your case, your movement speed is 40 feet. Um, so I'm going to go 5, 10, 30, 40. <laughs> so she scares me. And I want to take a shot at her. Okay. Um, if you're going that far out, your angle is such that you're going to be completely blocked by the pillars. Oh, she can't, I can't see it diagonally? Uh, no, the pillars, this pillar will block, this pillar here, as soon, right, okay. my thing is broken, then so I can't click. So can, that pillar would right block here? you. right here? Right here. Uh, well, the thing is that you're being blocked by the pillar next to her, no, not I'm, the pillar right. next to you. Uh, the, the one that's on the ground, knocked back. Citr oh, Citrine, I thought you were trying to attack the, uh, no. okay. So, yeah, no, you could shoot Citrine. Okay, so I shall do that. And I'm going to use okay. at least the cover of a pillar. Okie doke. So you can take the shot and then duck back behind the thing. So go ahead and make a dex for the shot. That's pretty good. And she does not see it coming because she does not have her eye patch, so she is blindsided by it. Go ahead and roll damage. Uh, what is that? 2d6? Yeah. 1d6. Yeah, it's generally 1d6 unless there's some oh. shenanigans going on, like critical successes or uh, circumstantial bonuses. Get a freaking what? shot. Please tell me yeah. you knocked her out. <laughs> a 1 or a 2, she would have stayed up. A 5, she's in the negatives. Yes. She doesn't get the chance she to gone. roll to stay up. Yeah. And then I'm going to go around the pillar. Up. 3, she'd roll. She's out, though. You uh, you hit her, and the shot ends up smashing into her, and her aura barrier around her completely shatters as she's then slammed into the uh, ground and just is unconscious. Oof. I'm scared of this girl now. Okay, good good job, Katie. Thanks for helping and everything. Holy shit, talking much. No problem. There's two against two, baby. I'm so scared. Unfortunately, one she just climbs climbed. to the top of the uh, uh, pillar. There's a uh, momentary I'm pause. I'm not on top of the pillar. She... I'm behind the pillar. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, she's climbing on top of the pillar. Yeah, she I know. seems to lick her thumb and hold it up as though measuring the air. <laughs> Thanks to your enhanced senses, you can, se you can uh, see just this almost feral grin as she leans onto all fours. And you can see every muscle in her uh, legs, her from her thighs to her, uh, the calves, then her arm muscles begin to tense sharply until you can absolutely see that everything is tensed up before she explodes off of the ground violently. Rather than using uh, her speed to uh, modify her movement speed, she's using raw strength to throw herself as violently as she can. Can I, oh, so in cool. enhance her, can, I, can I please enhance her speed with strength and have her overshoot me instead of the pillar? As I recall, you need line of sight to be able to do that, and you duck behind the pillar. But, okay. <laughs> yeah, you you explicitly specified that you wanted to duck behind the pillar. So. Well, I mean, I would like to watch her, because I would have shot at her and then put my focus back on 
but I didn't say that, so fair enough. Yes. As you duck, as you are ducking behind the pillar, your line of sight is broken, and so you hear a slam as she lands onto the pillar and uh, reaches down towards you. Let's see, at the moment, because of uh, the speed control, she's actually using her dex instead of her strength to try and grapple you, which is in at zero. Go ahead and roll speed. You just have to beat a zero. Combat acrobatic? Uh, not at this time. Like right now, you're just trying to push yourself away. Yes, not today. <laughs> yes, not today. You are not able today. to get out of the way. We'll move you five feet directly away from her as she <laughs> has closed the entire distance. One full I'm round so has scared. elapsed. She I'm had scared. at the end, so she will have one more round. Or she'll have two more rounds until her second wind wears off. <laughs> Nyla is still out, so her turn is passed. It, it, Katie, it is your move. Okay, all right. <clears throat> I'm back. You got this, Katie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so, okay. It's just so Hal. I'm on the floor. <laughs> yeah, all I got is Hal to worry about. Katie is going to make another birdie and send it at Hal. She, like, gets up. Okay. Oh, by the way, normally you wouldn't be able to see Hal, but the eye patch is actually letting you see it. It's not connected <laughs> to her directly, so even though, she, though she's unconscious, you can still see through it. <laughs> so yeah, you can create a bird. Yeah, it, it's rad. Uh, but yeah, yeah, you can create a bird to attack him. Yes. I choose you, birdie. All right, come on, let's go. Okay, uh, the bird will surge at him. Do you give it explosives or just to attack them? Uh, everything's better with explosives. Yeah, honestly, that seems to be the theme nowadays, isn't it? It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll have you roll 3d6 against his, uh, since you're using your semblance. Let's see. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Katie being the MVP. Okay. <laughs> and his bonus nope doesn't even matter <laughs> you still even with 46 reroll 2 from his personal skills you still outdo him uh, go ahead and roll 1d6 for the explosives damage as it goes off oh ah. not as good as it could be but it's still good he ends up ducking forward and rolling with the explosion letting it throw himself forward he takes Hi. a bit of damage and skirts it but now he is hit. he hits the ground rolls and then jumps up to his feet looking a bit scuffed, but not too much worse for wear, as he finishes it off with a few casual strides into uh, direct hand-to-hand -hand distance with you. He snaps his fingers and is like, Sup? Hi, how you doing? You know, not so great, honestly. Someone keeps blowing me the fuck up. Yeah, the <laughs> goose can do that. That's... That's fair. That's correct. I wasn't talking about the goose, but you know what? I... I'm going to beat you up now. Ah, uh, you can try. Oh, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna pull my gun on him. Okay, uh, as uh, you pull your gun on him, he raises his uh, guillotine axe and goes for the swing. Now, let's see. Yep, gravity manipulation. Okay, so I'm going to say that it's going to be a trade of blows, so roll dex against him. Mm-hmm. One degree of success? Yep, one degree of success. He is using his semblance. Oh, one degree of success. Okay. Well, remember his semblance lets him. Mm, nope. So it's a tie. I have the power so in case of explosives. It ties, uh, so because it tied, we're going to end up hitting simultaneous as he ends up slamming his uh, axe into you while you end up landing the shot on him. Go ahead and roll 1d6 in damage. <laughs> he rolled no damage. Like, he dealt one. You end up skidding off to the side a bit as you end up also firing directly into his chest, pinging him pretty severely and causing him to stumble back for a moment. <laughs> However, gotcha. as that happens, as you end up getting sent off to the side, you suddenly feel your entire uh, body get shifted violently. It <laughs> feels very similar to Lin's as you realize you are now falling towards his blade a second time. Ooh. Thanks to the gravity manipulation. Roll speed. No, no, this would be dex, because you have to control your body in motion. 
Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. He only gets 2d6 this time with the benefit of one spell, oh. but he did actually get it thanks to Semblance usage. And only 1d4. So you've taken a total of four damage there. You've still three life as he's... Let me double check his endurance. Oh yeah, no, he's not doing so great. You, he's doing better than you, but not by too much. As he uh, is breathing heavily and is not... He clearly did not like getting shot, blown up, beaten, hit by a bird. Any of the above, really. <laughs> we get all the way back around to Lynn. Well... Ah, uh, yeah, just adios. passing half the cast. <laughs> 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, uh, 35, 40. <laughs> and I'm going to stop right here. I'm going to take a shot at her. Okay, go ahead and uh, roll Dex versus her speed. Oh, come on. Yes. Yeah, you're fine. You end up hitting her. Go ahead and roll D6. Oh, that is... How you spell that? Gotcha. Four damage. She's reduced to three temporary hit points as she takes the hit to the chest and stumbles uh, back for a moment. And then I stop here. <laughs> Guess I'm not locking, watching her again, apparently. Oh, wait, no. I should probably watch her. Yeah. At that, she takes a slow, deep breath. The second round of, uh, the win of Second Wind has elapsed as she bla oh, says... Okay. Okay. Fine. Running away, huh? Well, I'm yep. not a fan of pursuing. So you know what? Good on you. You got away from the big bad lion. Hal, pump me up. There's a uh, shift around her as gravity shifts. As she, her, as she takes her finger, start first pointing at you, Lynn, before sharply turning it towards... Katie. And leaps. Hi. Katie, you're able to see this coming thanks to the uh, eye patch, which is actually working out for you a lot better than it probably should. Go ahead and uh, roll a speed to try to dodge. I love the idea of the lion ramming forwards and okay. Lynch just making her ram into a wall of gravity. As it is, the two with two degrees of success, she ends up overtaking Katie's dodge. Uh, Katie, you have. She is normally about two hundred and sixty pounds of muscle, slamming into you, but with the gravity pull, oh, pulling even sharper there, it's going to hit like a tank. I want you to roll endurance to see if you can mitigate the incoming damage. It's it's too late to try and shift her, right? Probably. No, go ahead. Um, so, let's, so, you'll go ahead and do instead that. Instead of flying me... here, she'd fly at how? You can, tr so, go ahead Ooh, and roll la me 3d6, la. and I'll tell you what happens. Wait, what am I rolling? No, I'm telling, uh, oh. uh, Lynn to roll 3d6. Nah, okay. Oh, 3d6. Wait, you say 3d or 2d? Yes. 3. So, roll one more. I know. Sorry, Katie, I tried. Okay. Uh. As you the attempt to uh, outdo happy. his uh, attempt at gravity, he seems to notice and just uses his second gravity well and ends up uh, counterbalancing against yours. Katie, you rolled endurance. You got an overall zero, meaning you do not modify the damage incoming. Mm -hmm. you, you were at seven. You took four. Now you took six. You're at negative three health. Oh, flip. Wait, 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 wait. I I do I do have I, I should be dead by now, at least. Do you have stubborn? I do not have stubborn. Yeah. Stubborn was the one that gave the chance to stay up. Right. So as it is, okay. you are knocked out as uh She has a three point yeah. count now. She has knocked out yeah. three of us. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, gosh. if it helps, she has three HP and it expires at the end of her next turn. So yeah. it's not looking great. The next oh. person in the rotation, whoops, I Wasn't skipped that them. Hal? Yeah. Yes. The next person in rotation is Hal. It's like, okay. 
When did he have used his? Um, uh, was that his reaction to use his gravity wells in that case? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Same as her. How uh, Lynn uses her reactions. Yeah. yeah. That. How kind of thinks for a moment before reaching down, taking the eye patch off Katie and putting it over his own eye. Trippy. Honestly, at this point, there's there you're, there's no way of winning. Who knows? At that, he raises his gun try. and carefully aims. Okay. Let's just put the f finishing bow on this. I want to see okay. those um, ones. Roll your speed. Oh, okay. Good. That's a, that's a zero. You just beat a zero on speed and you take no damage. <laughs> tie, baby. You tie the zero. But I still got one uh, higher. That's true. Yeah. Um. That's fair. Yes. So in the case of the six versus the seven, you are able to just barely avoid the damage. You'll have to move uh, five feet in uh, uh, in one direction or the other in order to do this. Okay. Sure. You have now blocked line of sight. You can no longer see that there. You do not see what he does for... Uh, actually, no. Roll sense. Roll sense. <laughs> you have superhuman, abnormally powerful senses. So uh, you do have a chance to know what is about to happen. That is a degree of success. You can tell from, it's very faint, but you can just barely see the outline of Hal through the pillar as he uh, reaches into his pocket and seems to move to throw something over the uh, pillar's height. Roll speed. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try to roll that back to him. Okie doke. Um, 3d6. Uh, can I, wait, is it combat area? Nah, fuck. It is not combat acrobatics if you're he using your semblance. It is 3d6. So you do oh. have one more d6. Oh, I was not even typing. Oh, fuck! Yes! <laughs> Shit. Okay. So you do have a degree of success. And his is zero. Okay. Yes. As you activate that... Uh... Oh, but his unique skill lets him reroll one dice. And his one turned into a one. It didn't matter. It was matter. meant to be. It was meant to be. Fuck you, <laughs> dice. <laughs> Holy crap. I'm so scared. Okay, so Saffron is able to dodge out of the way. Is he trying to bomb us? Halcyon is able to dodge out of the way. They both forcibly have to throw themselves to the side in order to get out of the way. But uh, yeah, you very nearly took them out with that. With their yes. own grenade. Gotcha. God damn. Oh, Lynn, man. it is your move. Is that 5, 10, 15, 20? Okay. She's still scary. You <laughs> only got to deal three damage, but then you got his, like, fucking half a health bar left. Yeah, but, um... Yeah, he's still... Uh, if she misses go you, she automatically here? goes down, too, so... Um, and I, I'm gonna try to shoot him with, um, well, how far in the air am I? 20 feet still? But still, this is five. Yeah, 20 feet. So that's five, 10, 15. Okay, never mind. She'll probably get me. Uh, let me think. <laughs> hmm. You got this. Just sweating buckets. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'm going to go 5, 10, 15. I'm going to shoot him with... Uh, um, And I'm going to use gravity trying to help it go faster or something. Or maybe I should just throw a grenade. I'm just going to throw a grenade and help with go faster. Cause then it'll be an AoE effect around this okay. area. Dax with a bonus. Oh no. And I'm gonna keep moving. Is that with a bonus dice or that is with the three. So I had I have only a two D Ah, okay. D for Dex. Okay. So 15, 20, all right. 25, 30, 40. So with a net zero, 
Okay, so Hal is not able to completely avoid damage because he tied you with a lower count, uh, overall count. With a critical success, she's... Uh, with a critical yeah. su success, Saffron is not only able to avoid it, she ends up jumping over the, th the explosion, shielding herself, and using it to launch herself towards you. She takes an automatic one point of damage, but is now that much closer to you. As she it's clear at this point she she knows full well this is the end of her uh, temporary HP. Hal, mm. on the other hand, was not able to dodge. Roll 1d6 for the damage to him. How did Just she use two the explosion to get that far? <laughs> what? Fuck. You do have to remember Jack Loop's done the yeah. same thing. Uh, yeah. Shit. Well, it's my turn again? What the fuck? I uh, know, Wait, roll 1d6 no, for damage. Yeah, roll 1d6 oh. for the damage that Hal took from the explosion. Get out of here, boy. Dude, get out of five? here. <laughs> okay. God He's looking damn. beat up. Oh, like, flip. five is a good amount of damage to be dealing there. He is not looking great. He's Dude, not quite in that store, down. but he's, he's, he's two hits away. He's hit by so fucking much. <laughs> However, on the other hand, there is Saffron. As she just... She rolls her shoulders and says, All right. One last shot. You better dodge, honey. Yep, I'm gonna try. <laughs> well, I'm still 20 feet in the air, but yeah. And we roll lowest. Okay, two degrees of success. Uh -oh. You have to beat two degrees of success on some form of dodge. So I'm gonna use the... Hopefully I can re-roll something. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's a degree okay. of success, well, and you have a re-roll. Okay. Unfortunately, as she jumps into the air, she is able to get you into the grapple, wrapping her arms around you, which is not hard considering how absolutely massive she is. The big problem, though, is when her, her arms move along down slower, basically grasping around, around your lower waist to force you higher up until she's grasping one arm, grasping around your thigh, both thighs, the other at your lower back, as she rapidly turns to the side. She's not going for like a crushing bear hug, she's relying on something else. Suplex. Hal uses his reaction, oh. and he's now rapidly accelerating gravity to pull you down with Yo, can both I push of his gravity up? wells. I'm no, I'm gonna go push myself up, and I want to go in front of the pillar. <laughs> push this, like, so to the side. So both of you are you, yeah, both of you are utilizing your semblance in order to do gravity well manipulation. So ultimately, they're going to balance out and nullify, which means that the. Ultimately, you're set to a normal a 1G environment. Yes. But a 1G environment is still what she's doing as she's basically suplexing you in order to try and land the finishing blow. In, in place. Because she jumped into the air, grabbed onto you, and the two of you are now falling towards the ground, and you have no gravity wells uh, that haven't been expended because both you've used both of yours against both of his. Uh, you're going to have to roll endurance against her uh, strength. Oh no! This is not a good roll for you, but it's not impossible. Oh. I'm just saying she's going to activate her close ranger personal skill. So go ahead and roll your endurance to see how you handle things. What? Okay. That's so that an is four. Okay roll. She can re. She can. She is going to force you to re-roll that dice. She's going to force you to re-roll that dice one more time because Jesus her ability Christ. allows her to re-roll two dice. Mm -hmm. You will take the <laughs> lowest of the three total rolls. Four and three and four. It's still there. You just you just don't want to see any fives or sixes in this. Oh, oh no! That's two oh. of them! As you feel yourself tumbling down to the ground, as you try to do anything, just try to mitigate the damage, all you really notice is the sinking sensation as you realize that there is just a loss of... You have no gravity control here. And as the ground is rapidly approaching closer and closer, it is... I want to see that damage roll. You're not going to. Because you're... As the impact is about to land, you are suddenly frozen in the air.
Well done, students. Salem has her uh, wand floating in the air as she's clapping, having frozen the both of you in place. Oh, but now, could I have survived? Fra <laughs> frankly speaking, I don't want to know what is about to happen. Because while I'm afraid for the poor girl's spine, I'm more afraid that the angle that you're falling at may cause her wings to break. I don't want to take that risk. There's a low hum from uh, Saffron's like, oh. Oh my god, right. Oh my god, I think I was trying to kill you. I am so sorry. Oh my... Oh. And then she just goes limp. <laughs> and just passes out. Yeah, I'm just gonna take a squat. I'm just gonna flop on the ground. <laughs> breathe, yeah. breathe heavily. <laughs> yeah. Hal uh, kind of looks around awkwardly, walks forward a few steps, like, I can taste blood in my mouth. I don't like that. I think I'm shaking. <laughs> Everything's shaking. <laughs> Same. The world. The world is, is shaking. Is the world moving? I'm just gonna <laughs> sit. Okay. Yeah. Hal, Hal just drops down to his knees, then onto his side, just curls into a wall. He's like, I'm gonna take a nap now. Get stretchers. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! And the goose, the goose still stands strong. <laughs> the, goose. the goose, the goose is still posed in his that exact same smug stance as it has been since the moment it was slapped away, <laughs> looking over the battlefield like some great Ozymandias prior to the falling apart of the uh, statue, just looking upon it, it and be like, "Yep, I did this." I love the idea <laughs> that Hal curls up into the ball, but he does it in a way where he's just, he curls up and faces the goose. Just eye, eye, eye to eye contact. Direct eye contact, staring at the goose as the goose just smugly smiles. Oh man, do you think I could have gotten away with it if I could have just like flown into the air instead of towards the ground? Because then at mm. least I would have only been attacked by Hal. Al with potentially stuff. Yeah, it would I, depend. The gravity nullification that would have happened could mean that you could have fallen into range of her, but that's it's a whole bunch of could haves. Yeah, you can't really be sure. I already want to see that D six yeah, though. If I had taken well, well, like a, if I would have, because I only oh, taken one point yeah. of damage this entire round, so this entire battle, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be one D six damage. It would be uh, let's see, it would be at least two D six. I want to see mm. it. But then again, Linnea's not. She's never been in pain. Like, she really. I don't think she's, she's just been a college hit. girl. I think yeah. she's been hit like once this entire yeah. game. Yeah. But uh, yeah, she doesn't withstand yeah, so pain. Saffron, very well. yeah, Saffron would have gotten the one d six from normal damage. The second d six from the fact that it's it's you know circumstantial damage, like hitting your head on a stone. In this case, mm -hmm. being suplexed from tw uh, from a twenty from a two story drop into the ground. By a uh, six foot eight jacked lioness. I'm sorry, that's two d six minimum. Yeah. But I, I also, her weapon, go. Grievous Arms, are aura conductive and loaded with dust, meaning she would have straight up blown herself up along with it. So Jeez. it would have been at least three d six. If you want, we can take a look at the three d six. Let's see, see what happens. Oh. Uh, Thirteen points of damage on the spot. I, I feel like that's conductive to the if you. Lose half if you lose half of your hit points, you go like what is it? You have to roll or something. I feel like that would have yeah, happened. The, the massive damage threshold. The big Dang. danger here is that you are very squishy, and yeah. that kind of damage all at once could actually mean crippling damage, similar to how Jackalope lost his arm from those massive amounts of successes. Except in this case, it's literally damage. Yeah. I don't Man, think I was... you want your wings broken. Yeah, no, she would have been out with a count, especially because she's just a college girl student, and then suddenly in this battle, so there's no way she would have been like, "Oh, I'm totally fine. I'm gonna roll with the punches." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. I can know. Yeah, I imagine just like uh, pisters are like, "Oh, that was really cool," and then the realization of, "Oh, these people just nearly killed each other in front of us." <laughs> yeah. Um. Man, I almost want to do like a talk over battle, but yeah, I, I feel like if I just like went up into the air. And then I only would have really been attacked by him if I used like my move action and my action to get all the way up there. Mm -hmm. Cause, yeah, because then she couldn't have. Yeah, potentially. Potentially, he could have launched her up after me. I don't know 
how that, that was would have such went. an interesting thing. Or if mm -hmm. she, or if if he had pushed her into the air with all that, with everything that he could do, if mm -hmm. uh, she would lose consciousness before she could bring me all the way to the ground, and Ooh. I would. Be yeah, probably... it definitely interesting stuff. But in the end, the fight went yeah. down the way it went down, yeah. and Damn. Uh, so close. As, as the stretchers are all brought out for everybody, everybody gets you know, piled in together and taken to basically the med area. Hal and, Hal and Lynn are the only conscious ones left. As uh, Hal's like, so, you're still stuck on uh, the two stage, huh? What's that mean? <laughs> you only yeah. used two. You only did two bubbles. Yeah? I, I was gonna say, how are you able, are you able to wrap it around people individually? Well, yeah, but that's, that's not the hard part. He uh, kind of looks over you like, oh, you were able to do that with Katie, too. I was just wondering why you weren't using the third one. Oh, yeah, I, I'm not able to. I was so surprised when you were able to. I did. Uh, when, when, I'm, when I stop being traumatized from fighting you, I can get, teach you the ropes, yeah, I guess. I, I, yeah, I'm mentally and physically shaking right now. <laughs> I've never seen my life yeah. flash before my eyes before. Yeah, she has that effect on people. Yeah. Yeah. You said you were gonna take a nap? I li I like that idea. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm I, I think consciousness is scary enough for one day. I'm ready for the next. See you tomorrow. Oh, see ya. Oh my god. <laughs> and so with everyone now totally placed into unconsciousness. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> with all of that <laughs> wrapped up, that is the end of the battle as everyone is now in the med bay recovering. Mm -hmm. We'll go over what happens when everyone wakes up next time on uh, Jump Chain Terminal Season. The yeah. goose doesn't need yeah. to recover. No, the <laughs> goose is actually the only member currently conscious. He is currently being examined by multiple uh, doctors. <laughs> However, the only thing that they can confidently say is that, yep, this motherfucker is a goose. <laughs> wow. The best goose. Thank you. <laughs> what a battle. I've never seen another goose in this uh, uh world so yeah. you're not wrong i'm <laughs> honestly really impressed with the i liked i like the uh her what is it called her eye patch thing mm -hmm. that would be so yes. useful to have but i don't want to be such a copycat but it, like that would be <laughs> yeah. so useful to have oh so we lost the fight yeah now yeah. we know why we stick to the plan <laughs> what plan what plan the plan, plan for Hunter to put himself behind a wall for Lynn to be the middle and Cat be chaos. I mean, Cat was chaos the entire time because that's just. I had an almost seven foot tall person single me. Out. Yes, that was supposed to be Lynn's thing to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> so that you could other that. put yourself on a platform to be a sniper. Like you may have the highest endurance, but you also have the most cumbersome weapon. It's yeah. such a good weapon. <laughs> It is a great weapon, but you're not good at upfront encounters. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you guys did and you guys want to see the first half of this battle, feel free to go over to uh, Tables of Tartarus. We have the uh, all the episodes that we've done with the exception of the 12th episode, which uh, was kind of 12th and 13th, but we're, we're kind of fixing them. Um, at some point in the future, you guys will get it. But, um, because we lost the audio for it. But all the other episodes are there, and then the last episode, I believe episode 20, uh, is the first half of this battle, where I got a critical success on Saffron, which is why I got knocked out two hours ago. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, but if you guys want to see that, feel free to go check that out. If you guys want to see the rest of our content uh, and, and our usual schedule and all the videos that we do, uh, feel free to head over to our socials. Uh, it will show you our website, and that is also where uh, it will also show most of our socials. So, um, yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow at 7 p.m. PST uh, for some wonderful Monster Hunter as we are going to the post patches of um, uh, the Iceborne uh, DLC. Um, and trying desperately not to die as we cry inside. Hmm. Have a good night, ladies and gentlemen. Bye. Thanks for joining. I'll be the Zan. Bye. Bye. See ya.